We're at the uh, Rick Riel Flea Market. And it uh, looks like it's a good turnout. I'm gonna head on over here into this first building. See what kind of rootables we can get into. Come along. You know what this is? It's a mold. It's a mold? Okay. Coleman's that were here. Hundred and fifteen. One seventy five. No. 
Let's run these aisles here real quick. That's cool. That's some serious clippers right there. Sir, what is this? Conversation piece, right? <laughs> it works, don't it? Yeah. It's uh, best I can figure out. It's, it's a uh, primer for a pump. You got spring loaded, and it's got a brass uh, piston in it. You got some good stuff. Much for the little craftsman box. A little palm sander. It's cool. Thank you. Man, I wish she had the lid for that. It's just a Pyrex paint, uh, pot. No, I got the. Well, I mean, it could be, could be. It's got a lip, so that has like a protruded lip on the inside, so probably needs some way out, yeah. It's pretty cool. I might be back for that. You bet, thank you. Ten bucks. And repainted. Look at that. Uh, pretty. That's, that's probably priced right. Yeah. It's hard to get them balsa uh, Rapalas. Yeah. 
And they're from China. China, too. Yeah. Not those. Not yours. Is it a sterno stove? Oh, it's propane? Butane. Butane? Yeah, I think it's butane. Yeah. Is that also a canister stove? Yeah, they all are. Oh, a little rocket one, stove. See, it takes that can. Yeah, okay, it okay, all right. The same, it's just the best model. Okay, do you have any other, like, backpacking ones that you pump up? You just asked the right question. What do you got? This is made in Sweden. Primus. Yeah, and it's it's the back, the true backpack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and it has the... Huh. The wind uh, uh, thing on the windbreak on it. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That's the threads onto a canister. Right. You can screw it yeah. in here. And what do you want for that one? We obviously used it. Triangle armored armored cable. cable. Yeah. It's a stripper, crimper, puller. Oh, it's got full gadgets on it. You can Lyman's use. tool, maybe, huh? No, I, it's a, some utility. Uh, what do you think it is? Something to do with fencing? No. Nope. Some old boy, I, I had it here three foot shows now. Nobody could tell me what it was. I, a little boy finally told me this morning. It's a battery uh, clamp puller. Marquette manufacturer. Battery clamp puller. In the old days, remember how it yep. used to corrode right. and we had yep. the batteries, you had to eat water to it. But it get corrosion on them and then you try to get them loose, then you break the post, they do some damage. Oh my gosh, I see clamp, it now. You clamp up to I the see clamp it. like this and, yep. and, and you just go boom and That's it pops cool. right off. This is 1922 on the patent day. That's cool. Country, it says USA right there. And it was that. And is this a sheet metal uh, no, tool? No, that's a saw set for a cross A cut. saw set. For a cross cut. So the saw tool. Yeah, for, for the, uh, yeah. And then how about this guy? A bottle puller? Yeah. Cork puller. Cork puller. I like the size of that one. Yeah, it's cute little guy. Yeah. You heat it up and then you iron your silk. You Miss the Wilton right there. Sold. I like it. I got that stove from you the last time I was here. The Coleman. 
that art piece did you make that I, I like <laughs> my battery died so I didn't I didn't get to show you the last couple things but you didn't really miss much uh, but I did buy a couple things I'll go in the shop here and uh, show you what I picked up 